7 a.m. in the morning. It's time to do some chores. Well, good morning. We're tired. What's the first chore we do, Jonah? Well, we need to get the feed bucket, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, we just need to grab the feed bucket and go fill it up, right? Here's our chicken tractor right here. And that's where it's been. So here's where it hasn't been. Here's where it's been. Excuse me. And here it is. So we're gonna fill up the feed bucket and then we're going to feed the chickens and I'll move and we'll move them. But we got the layers that we need to feed too. So follow along with us as we do this on the OC homestead. Okay, let's go over here and we'll clean it out. Fresh water. Right now, we just need to check to see if there's any eggs. There's usually not that many this early. Probably none, really. Open up that one. 
Oh, oh hi. We got one nesting right now. Oh, oh there is one egg. <laughs> egg. I don't know if I got that on camera. Look at egg. We got three <laughs> ladies nesting right here. Uh, let's leave them alone. All right. Yep, now we go feed the pigs. Right, Jonah? Yeah. So, our boy pigs, which are our feeder pigs, we call them feeders, because that's what we're doing is we're basically feeding them, just getting them fat. They have open access to food. And the reason why is because we just want them to get fat. Here they are. So, let's check their food. Well, they're getting low. They got enough for today. We will refill them. We'll refill them tomorrow. Yep. However, our Miss Piggy, this is our breeding pig. She is going to be used to make piglets here in the near future. And actually, just this weekend, she was in standing heat. Here's Miss Piggy. Say hi, Miss Piggy. Say hi, Miss Piggy. Yeah, that's Miss Piggy. So, so for her, what we do is we control her food ration. Because one, we don't want her to be like grossly overweight. We don't want her to be grossly overweight. We want her to be good, good. Now, in the future when she is you know, pregnant, she will be eating more, we know that. And when she's lactating, she'll be eating a lot more. Almost 20 pounds a day, usually. So, well, let's feed her now. Hey, Jay, we need another Miss Piggy feed. Miss Piggy gets around seven to eight cups or pounds of food a day. So we give her about five in the morning to get her through her day. And then we give her like one to two at night time for dinner. The last, the last animal we have on the homestead, or not the last animal, we have other animals. This is our livestock guardian dog. Well, not the typical livestock guardian dog. Hey Thunder, Thunder, it's Thunder. He's, he is our guard dog. He alerts us to, you know, predators on the property and stuff like that. So he keeps us very aware of what's going on. He barks, he growls. He's very protective of the, the pigs and the chickens. Actually, we were, you know, every time we go work on the pig pen. See, I don't, I don't know what the deal is with this. Maybe somebody out there can help explain it, but he doesn't like when we go in the pig pens. He doesn't like the pigs in the pig pen. He doesn't like the chickens inside the pen. Now, you bring them outside. You know, like we've let him, you know, we let some chickens free range a little bit. And he was okay with it. But when you put him in, he doesn't like it. We think it is, is he doesn't like them being pinned up. All right, now the last, last of our livestock is our meat birds that we gotta feed. So we, we weigh how much feed we feed our meat birds every day. And the reason why is because one, we want to track how much they eat, tracks cost. Because not only do we raise these birds for our own consumption, but we do sell them. So, 
let's go get a weight on the feed right now that we're going to be feeding them today. Yeah, measure it in kgs. We're measuring in kgs, kilograms. We put the bucket on the scale and then we add feed to the bucket. Well, first we tear the bucket and then we add feed. Oh, we tear it. That's right. So that's 80, or no, 0 0.08 kilograms. We get about 3.1 kgs right now. That's it. 3.1 kilograms, which equals out to be about seven pounds. So now we take this feed. Oh, and y'all probably y'all already know Jonah. But Jonah, he is our ag tech here. This is part of his schooling that he does. We homeschool Jonah. We homeschooled Elizabeth too, with my mom's help. We homeschooled both Jonah and Elizabeth. Elizabeth graduated already. Jonah here, what grade are you in? Eighth. Eighth grade. So this is his ag tech experience. Look at them. Food! We don't want food! Alright, let's move it. Did I move the playground? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, stop. Don't don't even worry about it. It's just gonna explode like that. We need to grab this tractor. Oh, I've been accused of having some good ideas before.
Well, and there you have it. That's uh, our chores for today. Uh, now, that's this morning. So there are afternoon chores and evening chores that we have to do. One, we make sure to refill up the chicken feed. They get feed till 7 o'clock, 7 o'clock p.m. Because uh, we, we want to keep them in feed for about 12 hours out of the day. They just do a lot better if they, if they have some time to uh, metabolize some of the food that they eat. Because they will gorge themselves. Right? Yeah. And then we check their water again throughout the day. Like once in the afternoon and then once in the evening. And then uh, we give Miss Piggy uh, another pound or two of feed in the evening for dinner. Right? Yep. Right. All right. Well, uh, that's it for this morning. I want you all to have a great day. And uh, uh, go out and uh, do something awesome. Thanks for joining us on the OC Homestead. Please like this video, you know, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and ring that notification bell if you haven't done so already. Really appreciate it. Thank you.